All right, here's all the aircraft. It, is that airplane moving on its own? Mm. Maybe. Huh. Ah! It's definitely moving on its own. Times were tough. So I sold my soul. And I don't think I'll ever regain control. Devil look me in the eye and I'll look the other way. What else could I do? I just stood at the doorway and you. I'd rather be drunk. Hey Internet, Grego Funk here, and welcome back to my Reusable Space Program, Season 2. This is Episode 24, and we are here at Enterprise Station looking at the Manly. And the Manly is kind of my interplanetary exploration ship it's based on a design similar to something Scott Manley made many years ago I think it's from a video he titled his interplanetary ship mine well one the nuclear engines back then worked a little bit differently they used oxidizer so he used different fuel tanks than what I used but I say this design is based off of his I just kind of um, I, I like the design, so I, I copied it. Well, copied it, re anyway, it's, it's similar to his ship. But today, the Manly is embarking on another exploration mission, and it is being sent to places yet unexplored in this save. And we have Valentina is commanding this mission. And it's got Gerbil and Nelmore along with her. And they are blasting off. Now, the Manly has lots of Delta V, which will help this ship get to all the places it needs to go. And it has almost 8,000 Delta V. which is good because most of the other systems are being set up to where there are refueling stations or ways to get your ship refueled if you go there. The Manly is going to places where no one has gone before. Strange new worlds to seek out new life and new civilizations. And that's, no, that's the Enterprise. Um, but no, it is meant to go to places and be the first ship there and still bring their crew back home. And as I said last episode, the, the new rules I'm going to set up are we cannot start setting up infrastructure unless it has already been kind of explored or surveyed. So we need to send an exploration or some type of survey ship there first and then we cannot send like the space truck force until there is a way to refuel them but as you can see today we are going to Eve and I'm setting up my Eve encounter and as soon as I get rid of the maneuver node I lost my Eve approach but 
I am able to get it back easily. And now I'm just focusing in on Eve. I'm going to create a maneuver because I'm I want to get a closer approach. So I'm just getting out of the curbing system. You don't have to do this. I could have done it in the curbing system, but I was having a hard time creating a maneuver node while I was in the curbing system just because there's too much stuff there. And I'm just playing around, trying to get... my Basically, my encounter kind of where I want it. And it's a lot of just messing around. And... And then once I get it where I want it... Let's just go ahead and do the maneuver. Now you can see off in the background, I do have another maneuver node created. That is for the space truck. Because the space truck is also going to be headed to Duna here soon. And I know I'm breaking my rule of only doing... Well, I said I was going to start breaking my rule of only doing one interplanetary transfer at a time. But this is just a small correction burn. And that gets me a little bit closer to Eve. Just bringing my periapsis in a little bit closer and I also want to get it kind of close to the equatorial plane now the, the manly has plenty of delta v that I could do all this stuff once I got to the system but it's I can save so much delta v by doing it now but I am going to set up a manual alarm clock just so we don't have any issues where the sphere of influence chain, I lose it during time warp. And I'm pretty sure the space truck is going to have to leave. Well, no. So the Manly was actually able to get to Eve before the space truck has to depart. So here we are in the Eve system. And now we just need to circularize, which about nice 1100 Delta V maneuver. Now, my plans... The... I do have plans for Eve, and I want to create, you know, basically the same thing I have in Duna. My issue that I've come up with are Eve surface operations. I don't think there are very many easy options for doing some sort of reusable Eve Ascent craft. 
I, I've seen people do stuff with some sort of electric aircraft that kind of get the an SSTO high enough to get into orbit. I have not had much success with this. And part of it is probably because I have not had much success with the stock propellers. I have not dismissed doing any EVE surface operations. Or even the idea of doing EVE surface operations with a expendable ascent craft. Even though it's kind of counterintuitive of the reusable space program. But hey, we are now captured in orbit of Eve, I do want to get a better circularization here. But anyway, the I, I have thought about since I've been, the whole point of this was to recreate Scott Manley's reusable space program. And so due to a hard drive failure, he, he ended up losing the save and was not able to complete it or see it to its full fruition. I thought next season, because I want to expand out to the rest of the Kerbin system, I'm going to use the space trucks. I think we're to the point where there might be some tourist industries that could be coming up over and I mean I have a lot of plans like the space truck getting the rest of the Kerbin system colonized uh, the space tourist industry um, I also have considered redoing Scott Manley's Eve or bus series in a way, which would mean building an airship and a submarine and an EVE rover. And let's go ahead and set up my return Kerbin trip. Let's get a thumbnail for the title card. So anyway, that's um, that's the big thing. I kind of thinking that each episode will follow like one big part of the storyline. So like do an Ever Bust mission. where I'm doing all the science that, well, not actual science, but doing like the expedition down to the surface of EVE, exploring the oceans, the skies, and the rover. Ah, uh, yes, the Duna surface base. So I noticed that when I went to dock, I had all the engines on the surface base were activated. So I had to shut them down, and then I had to shut down two engines on the interplanetary probe. And I wasn't 100% sure if I could make this work and get it to Duna. My backup plan if this did not work was to launch another one of the space trucks and send it this way 
However, I'm using a lot of mono propellant, basically because this is really off balance, firing only those two top engines. But it's the really the only way that I can make this work. And if I send any more surface stations from this configuration, then I will have I will send it by by one of the space trucks. Because this is just not the most efficient way or not the most efficient vehicle to be doing this. Although since I am able to hold my heading, it's it's gonna be okay. And we do have two Kerbals who are inside of the surface base and they will be riding it all the way to Duna and then all the way to the Duna surface. And I plan to land this on Duna on top of like one of the ledges close to one of the two canyons. And I'd also like to put a base on the bottom of one of the canyons and maybe have a rover that can drive between the two. It's gonna be a little bit difficult at to get the base to land where I would like it to. Now this is basically the same base I sent, I think this is the same base I sent to the North and the South Pole. I had originally designed a special base specifically for Duna, but I ended up having trouble getting it to launch correctly and I, I just didn't want to, I didn't really have time to mess with it before, because I wanted to get all these videos recorded before I got super busy, which I might end up way busy, so I'm doing all these way ahead of time, like months ahead of time. So if there is some big current event that I'm not talking about, it's because it probably hasn't happened. So, we now are, we don't have a Duna encounter yet. I'm close. Now, I did have one in the original maneuver node, but probably lost it just trying, just with the little bit of off course that the off center engines gave me. But with just a little bit of messing around, I was able to, I'm able to get an encounter. And this is a bit of a heavier cargo than the interplanetary probe has carried yet. So we're going to arrive at Duna with under 3000 Delta V. Which is fine. It, it's, it's plenty. Although I do want, I kind of want to get this in a pretty low orbit like at least 80 kilometers that way the I can just use the engines on the ground base and it does I do have to have fuel left in the engines to make the landing on Duna parachutes alone will not be enough
that was the mistake I made with my first, the first ever Duna landing I did, I just tried to use parachutes, and I, my craft did make it down to the surface, but it broke, and my Kerbins were stranded. I don't know if I still have that save. That might be fun. I'm pretty sure all my craft are... So many of my old craft that I built back in the day are no longer viable. I do sometimes miss some of the old parts. Now, I, I also realize that the new parts are superior, and there's a reason they were replaced, but I do sometimes miss the old parts. Anyway, join us next time, and as always, have a great day.